um, this year the festival had several emerging themes, and one of the emerging themes in the festival was migration, and the reasons why people are forced to leave one place and what happens in their journey on their way to another place. And there are several films in the festival this week that do that and they're highlighted in the front of the festival catalog. And uh, because of everything that's been happening locally, nationally, internationally in the past year, we decided to dedicate this festival uh, to Mary Monsef, the Honorable Mary Monsef, MP Peterborough Kortha. Minister of Democratic Institutions. Somebody who made a long journey, a far, far distance, to arrive here in Nogojiwanong, in Peterborough, and to become a champion of our community. Uh, and settled in this area at a time when I was working at the New Canadian Centre, and had the pleasure to get to know her whole family. So it's been an amazing journey for me to witness, and I know it has been for a lot of you as well. And I'm very proud to welcome to the stage the Honorable Mary Monza. territory of the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee peoples. Indeed, had it not been for all the ways that settlers like me were welcomed onto this land, we would not have succeeded collectively or individually. I'm a bit tired too tonight, uh, more so than usual, uh, because my team and I spent about five hours at a welcome center in Montreal last night as we waited for the arrival of the 21st flight of Syrian refugees into Montreal. And we got to the space and it was a space that was originally used to uh, house filing cabinets. And with great ingenuity and resourcefulness, the space was transformed into a hub of activity with everything you can imagine, from computer docks to phones, places to charge your cell phone, and you know, healthcare places, and uh, translation, racks and racks of coats and boots, and the little shoe foot measuring thing, and gloves, and... <laughs> places to lie down, and a station for the kids to color, and a television with films like Aladdin and such, too. <laughs> they try. <laughs> to, to a snack bar, and so many more, and the place is filled with people from the provincial government, Quebec is doing its own thing uh, when it comes to welcoming refugees, to Service Canada uh, and federal government representatives, to volunteers working with Red Cross, to Syrian refugees uh, who themselves arrived just about two weeks ago, and interpreters, dozens and dozens of interpreters, and you know, one woman really struck me. She was the woman whose job it was to put a lanyard uh, around the neck of the individuals who are coming in that identified whether they were privately sponsored or government sponsored. And um, anyway, her job was to do that and say, welcome to Canada. And she said it again and again and again, over 200 times she said it, and her enthusiasm never faded. And her excitement never faded. And whether she was doing that for little kids or for grown-ups, the look on the faces of the individuals who were receiving that lanyard and that welcome was priceless. And I worked very hard to hold it together and you'll be proud to know that I did. <laughs> and that welcome center 
It reminded me of what all of you did and what all of you did for my family and I and what all of you continue to do as we welcome in the way that Peterborough does Syrian neighbors onto this land. And you didn't do it because the government came in and helped you organize it. You did it because you're you. You did it because this is a part of our identity. And every time I spoke with different representatives, you know, I wanted to know what are you learning from this process? People who are working double shifts and it's 1.30 a.m. and they're still excited and inspired. What are you learning from this process? And the common theme was when we work together, anything is possible. Indeed, that's the message I got when we all gathered at Wenjack Theatre a few weeks ago with over 400 uh, sponsor groups. And uh, one of the sponsors said, you know, welcoming Syrians onto this land, into our city, isn't just about allowing them to start a new life here. It's helping us come together. And perhaps it's allowing us to come together so that we can tackle the more challenging issues of our time like reconciliation. When we come together, anything is possible. And this is an opportunity to thank Reframe, the volunteers and the organizers, the collective and the participants, and the people downstairs in the International Bazaar who have a way of bringing us together every year, not just economically and culturally benefiting our community, but opening our eyes and our level of awareness and allowing us to realize that when we work together, anything is possible and inspiring us to take action and take advantage of the democratic process and the community we have here. So thank you to Reframe, to all of you for being just who you are. The government's initiatives would not succeed without you and I wish you an inspiring and enlightening weekend of refrain filled with the very best of this community. Thank you very much.